Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what the people secretly think about you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay, Aries, spirits and angels, please show me what do people secretly think about Aries? Whoa. Okay, Aries, so we've got the Fool here. Aries, these people can actually be anybody, okay? P people whom you were in a relationship with or somebody whom you're with currently, friends, family, or people whom are observing your social media. So the Fool here indicates somebody whom likes their freedom um, and also somebody, I would say, quite adventurous, would take risks, all right? And also, I would say you dress well. People secretly think that you dress really well. You definitely like your freedom and you take risks, that's for sure, okay? The Fool also indicates travel. Some of you, again, you can like to travel a lot or you could be traveling right now for some of you. Six of Swords in reverse and we've got the Six of Pentacles here. Anyways, this is double six, actually three sixes you have. Six of Wands in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, and Six of Pentacles here. So if you like to check out your angel number 666, you can go ahead and Google it. 666 angel numbers, okay? So what I'm seeing here is with the Six of Pentacles, a little bit too generous, okay? Too generous to a point where you can get stuck yourself and it could uh, stop you from moving forward in your life because maybe either you're way too generous or way too trusting either or okay so six of wands here in reverse and the hangman is here hmm. i would say that um people secretly think that you see life in a very different perspective okay very different perspective and with the six of wands here in reverse right next to the three of cups um, I would say that people like to socialize with you, okay? People like to socialize with you and you can be quite humble. That's what I'm getting here because six of ones, if it's upright position, maybe you, if that's the case, then people might think that you like to show off. <laughs> but maybe this could be in the past because this is in reverse now. For some of you, don't get mad at me for saying that, okay? just seeing and um, telling you what I'm seeing here maybe in the past some people might think that you like to show off but you have changed okay because the hangman is in reverse you have changed to becoming somebody uh, way more humble than before people see you very differently now than how they used to see you in the past and three of cups of, of course you are friendly with people you have your own group of friends where you hang out with and you're good at socializing or that you like to socialize okay friends are important to you so let's see more okay the empress semiverse and seven of wands is here so you're very protective especially over you can be somebody very protective over your 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 mother or your father okay your parents either or it could be both um, people secretly may think that you would do anything to protect them or some of the ones also can be a little bit of a guarded energy you may be a little bit defensive people might secretly think that you can be a little bit defensive and ten of pentacles in reverse and the empress in reverse also can indicate for some of you only okay for some of you if you were married before and divorced yep some people might secretly think that you are a divorcee okay uh, if you're not married, you were not married before and you're not divorced, of course, not everybody is married and divorced, but Ten of Pentacles here in reverse, I feel like some of you may be away from your family or that you're not living with your parents right now, okay? Or that you're not somebody materialistic, Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress, or that there's no growth currently when it comes to your finances, all right? So we've got the Page of Swords in reverse and the Four Swords in reverse. People close to you know that you're stressing out a lot, possibly not sleeping well at night, having some insomnia, overthinking, possibly doing your research when it comes to work, okay? Especially when it comes to work, I would say. Mm, because the Page of Swords is like a stalking energy, but not necessarily. You could just be doing some research on a download and you're stressing out on a download as well. You, you may tell people, you may not, but you have been thinking a lot. I feel like it has something to do for a lot of you. Maybe either family, 
for finances, okay? And also we've got the Page of Pentacles here. I would say that people generally think that you are a genuine person and the Moon is in reverse, you're quite transparent um, and very helpful as well. Again, helpful, too kind, <laughs> to a fault somehow, to a point that even if you get jammed, even if you, you don't have everything, you, you will give. That's what I'm getting here. So I guess it's too kind to a fault. So five of wands here in reverse. You're more so of, uh, you try to avoid drama, I would say. Five of wands in reverse can indicate somebody avoiding drama, doesn't like drama. More of a peacemaker, I would say. And with the Page of Pentacles, yep, somebody genuine, somebody who likes to make peace, doesn't like to uh, be involved in any sorts of drama. We've got the Chariot here in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups. So you do care about your family, okay, or starting a family for some of you. Um, more of a lover than a fighter, but you can, Seven of Wands, hmm. You can fight if you want to, if you're, stand, if you're protecting something or somebody, okay? And we got the Ten of Swords here in my verse. People close to you actually know that maybe you are recovering, okay, from some sort of an ending. It has something, maybe it has something to do with your love life or your career, or it could be both. The Chariot is in my verse and the Magician here in my verse. There's something of a stuck energy that I'm getting here, Aries. But um, I'm also seeing the Fool and the Three of Cups here. These two cards are your last cards. So I do see this uh, intuitively as a prediction that if you've been waiting to be set free, whether it's financially or in your love situation, you will be okay and you'll be very happy because Three of Cups here, you can finally celebrate with your friends, celebrate some sort of a a success here okay it may have something to do with your social life it may have something to do with your love life or your finances okay right now you could be kind of stuck that's what I'm seeing here trying to do some re research working on something to try and uh, I feel like you may have had the ten of pentacles in the past in an upright position okay but now it's in reverse so there could be a delay somewhere in your finances but overall Aries I feel like everything is going to be okay in the end okay this is sitting in your future so the magician is in reverse so you may be somebody quite transparent okay you don't wear a false mask you are you are what uh, what's that what's that saying you get what you see that kind of energy that I'm getting here all right Aries this is your reading Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave you with a playlist on my screen right now. This is a playlist from my second vlog channel. If you're interested to check it out. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And Aries, I post your videos almost every single day. However, at different timing, if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Aries. Bye.